Hi everybody. Uh, my name is Marius Vardalahakis. Uh, I am a master student of the Department of so, uh, Informatics Engineering uh, that belongs to Hellenic Mediterranean University. Uh, today I am here to present my work, Anonymization, Hashing and Data Encryption Techniques, a Comparative Case Study. Uh, Uh, something uh, from the, our agenda today, we'll, we will start in the beginning by uh, to tell a little bit about the subject of data protection and data privacy, and then uh, we, we will proceed uh, a little bit to tell about the anonymization techniques, hashing techniques, and encryption techniques. Uh, finally, we conclude uh, by uh, doing a incubation of the three uh, of three, three those of the, of the three techniques, and uh, we make a recommendation when using uh, each technique in a variety of situation. Uh, so uh, the increasing de dependence on digital platforms, data protection and privacy have emerged as critical concerns in today's interconnecting and data-driven world, prom prompting the need uh, for robust techniques to protect sensitive information. Uh, in today's digital age, that data has become a powerful asset from, for driving innovation, personalization, and efficiency across various sectors. Uh, however, the widespread collection and usage of the data also bring forth significant challenges uh, related to privacy and security. Also, hacking activities which involve manipulating personal information uh, can lead to negative publicity, fraud and other illicit activities. Uh, so, uh, the purpose of this presentation is to explore and compare three fundamental data security techniques, uh, which is anonymization, hashing and data encryption. Uh, this presentation will delve uh, into its technique, highlighting their unique strengths, weakness, and as well as less recommendations and best practices when using its techniques in a variety of situations. By the end of this presentation, uh, we, we, you will have a comprehensive understanding of when and how to use these techniques to protect uh, this information and make informed uh, informed the decision about data security strategies. Uh, uh, we have uh, several reasons uh, about uh, for uh, we have so um, sorry. Uh, the, the, uh, there are important reasons that I choose to do this presentation today because we have potential risks of data breaches and unauthorized access. Uh, in, the digital data, in the digital age, data breaches and unauthorized access to sensitive information posed substantial risks to individuals, organizations, and even entire societies. These risks highlight the critical importance of implementing robust cybersecurity measures. Uh, let's delve into the potential risks associated with data breaches and unauthorized access. Which is those risks? Uh, those risks will be financial losses. Data breaches uh, can lead to direct financial losses uh, through theft of funds, fraudulent transaction of random demands. Uh, organization may face uh, fines, legal fees, and compensation claims impacting uh, their bottom line. Uh, the second. Uh, uh, potential risk will be identity theft and fraud. Uh, uh, with an identity theft and fraud, stolen personal information can be used uh, for identity theft, enabling criminals uh, to access bank accounts, making an authorization poor case, uh, or even commit more serious crimes in the victim's name. Uh, but there are also so different reasons for answering uh, robust data protection and privacy measures is, that is crucial. Uh, those reasons uh, is preserving individual privacy. Uh, here individuals have the right to control how their personal information 
is collected, use the shared uh, data protection sa safeguards, prevent unauthorized access, and then ensure that personal details remain confidential. Uh, the other reason will be building trust uh, businesses and organizations uh, that prioritize data protection and privacy, build trust with their customers and stakeholders. Uh, this trust is vital uh, for fostering uh, lasting relationships and maintaining a positive rep uh, reputation. reputation. Uh, the other reason is compliance with regulations. Uh, governments worldwide have enabled data protection laws uh, it, uh, it, which is GPTR or CCPA to safeguard individual rights adhering to this regulation not only avoids legal consequences but also demonstrates a committed to ethical data handling. Um, uh, but what we will do uh, to protect our data from uh, the, those potential risks of data breaches and unauthorized access. Uh, the answer uh, is uh, with anonymization we, we can protect our data. Uh, but what is anonymization? Uh, anonymization is, uh, is the process of modifying or transforming personal or sensitive data in such a way that uh, the resulting data set can no longer to directly link to an individual. Information of an individual is not divulged, uh, enabling sharing information which would otherwise not be allowed. Uh, and the other reason is to protect the interest of the individual as well as the organizations. Uh, let's uh, suppose we have an example of a type data set. Uh, this data set, uh, we have four rows and three fields. Each row contains information pertaining to an individual and each column states the information of that individual. Why do we need to anonymize those, those data? Uh, we need to, by deleting uh, or obscuring personally identifying information, anonymization techniques uh, are employed for protecting people's privacy and confidentiality to data sets. Um, we have uh, several anonymization techniques are, uh, uh, that are available. Uh, combination of uh, technologies may be used concurrently and different techniques may be applied to with different results. Um, the first, uh, in, in our case scenario, uh, we will discuss about four uh, different kinds of anonymization here. The first is suppression. Uh, in the, what we mean by suppression in the context of, the, of data, privacy, privacy suppression, replace a quality value with, with a special symbol like a star. Uh, the primary goal of suppression is to prevent the identification of individual while present, preserving the overall utility of the data for analysis. Uh, in the right table we have an example uh, of uh, three, uh, four rows and three uh, three columns. Uh, if we apply uh, the this technique, the suppression techniques into the patient race column, we will see that in the right side uh, they will show a, a star, and uh, with that method is the first method that uh, we we anonymize our data. Uh, the other method uh, is, is removing information. Uh, removing information from data is a, crim a, crit a crucial step in data anonymization in which a quality value is replaced with a sequence of numbers that ranges, for example, from 1 to 4069. Uh, in some cases, like ours, uh, removing information involves taking a random subject of data, answering that individual identify, identities cannot be inferred from the sample. Um, this uh, technique uh, differs from the previous technique because here, if you see in the table, uh, if you, we want to uh, anonymize a patient gender column, uh, we will see that if we apply the algorithm, 
uh, we will present uh, uh, in the column the, in the right in the right table uh, with random numbers in the passing gender column. Um, the other technique will be generalization. Generalization refers to the process of transforming and modifying the original data to create more generalizing the representation while still retaining its useful characteristics. Uh, the goal of generalization is to remove specific identifying details while preserving the overall structure uh, and trends prese uh, presenting the data and also maintain the balance between privacy protection and data usability. Uh, generalization is the same uh, with previous like the previous technique, but here uh, uh, we will uh, if we apply in passing marital status, we will status column, we will see that uh, uh, they, uh, they will uh, appear less uh, gen more general uh, value uh, with uh, the number of two values inside the columns. Mm, the the last uh, technique is bottom coding. Uh, bottom coding is a data minimization technique used to generalize or obscure uh, specific values by replacing uh, them with a predefined minimum value or a lower limit. Uh, this technique is employed to protect sensitive information while maintaining the overall structure and utility of the data. Uh, if uh, as we uh, and, uh, if we want to apply uh, this technique in uh, the patient language column, we will see we will see that in the table they will transform our values uh, patient language uh, into um, uh, the forty five thousand values number uh, more general. Uh, ranges, uh, but uh, he, is anonymity enough? Uh, while anonymization is a valuable technique for protecting privacy, uh, it's important to recognize that achieving complete anonymity can be challenging, and in some cases, uh, not sufficient uh, uh, on its own to ensure data privacy. Anonymity can be beneficial in certain situ situations. Uh, such as protecting privacy, sharing sensitive information, or engaging in, in open discussions. However, it also comes with limitations, particularly in forms of accountability, trust building, and authenticity. Uh, however, it also comes with limitation, particularly in terms of accountability. Uh, uh, Sorry, a little wrong with this. Um, the decision to rely solely on anonymity depends on your specific goals and the potential consequences of remaining anonymous in a given content context. Uh, we, we have also another type of uh, data protection technique, which is hashing. Uh, but what is hashing? Hashing refers to the process of converting input data of any size into a fixed size string of characters, typically through a mathematical algorithm called a hash function. Uh, the output data of a hash function is often referred to as hash value or as hash code. Uh, hashing is crucial uh, for maintaining data integrity, enabling efficient data access, and changing uh, security and supporting various cryptographic and computer science applications. Uh, wh why? Uh, let's uh, suppose we have a simple example of data set. Again, uh, if we, uh, why we use hashing? Uh, data set, uh, anonymization, as we say before, anonymization and hashing are distinct processes that can be combined to improve privacy and security. Uh, hashing can be used for extra defense to certain situations, uh, but it cannot provide the same level of privacy protection as anonymization. Several hashing techniques are available. Uh, 
Ε, but may be used a combination of those techniques concurrently. Ε, also, different techniques may be applied with different results. Hashing make it usable to retrieve the initial data from the hash value. It continues to be practical, capable to seek comparative input data to brute force, brute force or dictionary attacks. Uh, the first method we use, also we have four different techniques here. The first is MD5. What is MD5? MD5 it is famous cryptographic hash approach uh, with a fixed size of uh, 128 bits and typically represented as a uh, 32 character hexademical uh, number. In the context of data privacy, and anonymization refers to the act of deliberately uh, removing or omitting certain pieces of information from a data set to prevent the identification of individuals. Uh, MD5 is used to protect the privacy of individuals to, by reducing the granularity of data uh, without completely eliminating its usability for analysis or other, other purposes. Uh, let's suppose we have a data set with uh, four rows and three columns. Uh, we, want, uh, we see here uh, that if we want to apply uh, MD5 algorithm in the passing gender column, we will see the, uh, the in the next table the, the, 30, the 128 bits in the column, in the right column that is converted, that is transformed. Uh, the other technique is uh, uh, 5012. Uh, SA5012 is a secure uh, hash function with uh, uh, 512 bits uh, hash value. It is designed, designed to take an input, often called a message, and produce a fixed size output, uh, 52 bits or 64 bytes, known as a hash or digest. It is used in various, various security applications, such as digital signatures, password storage and data integrity verification. Uh, if we apply uh, those techniques in a patient uh, marital status, uh, a, a patient race column, we will see uh, that a 52-bit hash value will appear in the next table. Here, uh, hash value. And this, the big letters will be that when we will transform the when we apply this technique. Uh, the other technique will be CRC32. Uh, CRC32 is, is a type of hash function that is primarily used for error checking and data integrity verification purposes. It also produces a 32-bit, uh, 4-bit checksum or hash value. It is commonly used uh, in situations when error detection is important, such as in network communications and file storage uh, when transmitting data. Uh, the 32-bit value, if we apply in patient marital status, will, uh, we, will see, we will transform to like this in the next table. Uh, in the right here. Uh, we will be that the hash value transformed a uh, 32 bit value. Uh, the next algorithm will be CXX hash 64. Uh, here uh, it is not uh, a non cryptographic hash function uh, that also generates a 64 bit hash value. Uh, it is also designed for high speed hashing with a focus on the performance and simplicity. Uh, also, uh, if we want to apply the, this uh, algorithm in patient language column here, we will see that we will change it to this form in the right table. Uh, the 30, the 64 bit will uh, transform like that value. Uh,
Does all, uh, the next question, uh, does hashing make data anonymous? The primary purpose of hashing is to verify data integrity and to quickly retrieve data to hash values, tables. Uh, however, hashing alone does not make data truly anonymous, uh, but it can provide some level of pseudonymization but it's not a foolproof method for answering that anonymity. Uh, it can also provide some level of pseudonymization, but it's not a complete method for answering that anonymity. To achieve a strong data anonymity, it's important to use a combination of techniques tailored to the specific data and use a case and to follow best practices for data security and privacy. Although anonymization and hashing perform distinct processes, uh, but they can be integrated into particular circumstances to change privacy and security. Hashing may occasionally be utilized for extra defense. Uh, the third method will be encryption and uh, some say this uh, method will be better to apply for better security. Uh, encryption, but what is encryption? Encryption is a process of converting readable and understandable data uh, referred to as plain text uh, into a scrambled and readable format using an algorithm and a, and a cryptographic key. Uh, the primary purpose of encryption is to ensure that the confidentiality and security of sensitive information during storage, and transmission, and processing. Uh, encryption will play a critical role in safeguarding sensitive information from unauthorized access, maintaining privacy, and ensuring compliance with regulations. Uh, background of uh, has in uh, hashing and encryption will, uh, are also both effective methods for protecting data, but they differ in specific aspects. Encryption is used uh, to encrypt data during transmission, ensuring unauthorized access and making it unreadable uh, by anyone outside the decryption key. Several data encryption techniques are available. Also, a combination of techniques uh, will be, may be used concurrently. Uh, different techniques may be applied with different results. Uh, in data encryption, only those with the appropriate decryption key uh, can revert the cipher, the cipher text back into its original plain text form. Uh, the first algorithm of encryption will be DES. Uh, here also we will have four techniques. Uh, this is the first uh, symmetric encryption algorithm for securing data communications. Uh, it has a relatively small K, 52 bits, uh, and it uses a Fistel network structure when the plaintex, where the plaintext is divided into two 32-bit uh, uh, blocks, the left block and the right block. In each round, uh, the right block is modified based on the left block and the round uh, key derived, derived from the main encryption key. Uh, suppose we have a simple example of uh, four rows and five columns. If we want to apply the, the test algorithm, we will see that the, in the next table, uh, the 50, uh, in the passing gender, if we apply the algorithm in the passing gender column, uh, we will see the applied uh, 56 bits like that here. Uh, oops, oops. Uh, the other uh, algorithm will be XDES. XDES is, uh, is an improvement on DES. It is used the method, as a method of encrypting data using the combination of the XOR operation and the data encryption standard DES algorithm. Uh, the XOR operation is typically used to combine a plain text message with a secret key before applying this algorithm. Uh, now, if we want to apply 
uh, the algorithm in patient gen, so we suppose to a patient gen column, we have uh, uh, the information about the patient gender, uh, male and female. We will see, uh, we will see the algorithm of death. La, uh, they tra with, uh, we will uh, the, the, we, that will transform the data uh, in, like that in the right table in the passing gender column. Um, uh, finally, uh, the latest algorithm will be IS fifty two or twelve. Uh, in fi IS fifty twelve, it will uh, it will use is an input block size and case size of 52 bits, which makes it more resistant to cryptanalysis with tolerated area increase. Uh, IS-52 key is the different that we will have here, the uh, largest key size from the other algorithm before, uh, like 52 bits, uh, and we will make the algorithm more secure uh, and we will have larger input block uh, and in, we will increase the throughput. Uh, if we have, if we, if we want to apply the algorithm patient language column here, uh, we will see that the, the data, we will transform it to like this form in the table, the, right, right here before. Uh, let's now, um, now, uh, uh, by reca re recapitulating the uh, we will finally, we will recapitulating the comparison of the three uh, data anonymization, hashing and data encryption technique. Uh, the, we, uh, and this following table uh, are with, with the table. This following table here, uh, presents our in-depth our in-depth analysis of the comparison and anal uh, of the anonymization hashing data encryption techniques, illustrating the algorithm objectives, key requirements, and reversibility, uh, data security, privacy, preservation, and safe information management, all require learning how these approaches vary, vary uh, from one another. This table uh, also will present here a brief overview of the fundamental characteristics of anonymization, hashing, and encryption mechanics. As we say before, uh, the purpose of anonymization uh, will be to, uh, to delete or obscure personal data identifiers. Uh, in the, in, we have reversibility in the, in the majority of cases is, uh, that is not uh, uh, irreversible. Uh, we, here we not have a key required to uh, to decrypt the data. Uh, it's uh, in hashing. Uh, uh, the other method in hashing, as we said before, uh, we created fixed. The purpose is to create. We create a fixed size distinct, distinct value based on the information that was provided. Uh, also here, uh, we have the, these cases are irreversible. Uh, we don't have uh, key required for the dec decryption. Hashing is not, uh, is not uh, uh, we, we have, with hashing, we will not retrieve the original data uh, uh, from the beginning, uh, when they was in the beginning, in the, in the beginning form. Uh, the other method is encryption uh, here to protect data through and transforming. Uh, uh, the, the purpose is to protect the data through transforming it to an unreadable format. Uh, uh, here with with a correct key. We will have a, a, a reversible method to that we can decrypt the, ori the, the data and find the original data uh, and see what we have there. Uh, 
But if we will not have the key, we don't decrypt those data, and we stay more safe. Uh, we have also, uh, but, uh, and we so we conclude uh, with a study comparative analysis. Uh, this study comparative analysis highlights that uh, the choice between of these techniques depends uh, on the specific use case scenarios and the desired level of security. Uh, as we say before, for secure data storage, privacy preservation, and as well as secure handling of information, it is vital that you understand the, vari the variations among anonymization, hashing, and data encryption techniques. Uh, anonymization is also effective for privacy, preserving privacy in data sets, meant for statistical analysis. Uh, the, the other method hashing generates so unique identifiers for the identity of data, whereas anonymization help in removing identifiable information. Uh, the third method, and the final method, is, is data encryption, uh, obscures the data into a form that is impossible to read to ensure, and ensure data confidentiality. Uh, but finally, both organization and people may uh, determine what approach uh, must employ based on the specific, specific security needs uh, for data by carefully considering the objectives and features of every option they have, they must do. Uh, that's all for, for uh, now. Thank you for your attention. Any questions?